G'day guys, welcome to the video, welcome to the vlog, it's Cody here coming to you guys with another one. Guess where I am? I'm sitting out the front of a thrift store right now, out the front of a Salvo's, there's also a Lion Opportunity Shop as well, I believe that's what it's called. They're right next to each other, I'm about to go in and see what I find. Today is going to be, today is going to be a bit of a trip to the thrift video, so follow along and hopefully we'll find some cool stuff today. So I just got out of the Salvo's, I picked up some shoes, however the other op shop is closed. Let me get to the car and I'll show you guys what I got. So I picked up these Kobe 7 System uh, basketball shoes. These are in the size 11, US 11. They had 2025 on them and I got 50 cents off. They have a little bit of wear at the bottom, but these should sell anywhere from 80 to $100. There's a listing here that sold for 79 US dollars, which is about 104 Australian dollars. Same shoe. They also have like this cool little emblem at the back of them too, with the Kobe signature. Pretty cool shoes. I made it to a few more thrifts. I'm right at the front of a opportunity shop right now. And there's also a Salvo's just over the road there as well. If you can see where my finger is, right there is the Salvo's. And right there is the opportunity shop. Now let's go in and see what we find. All right guys, just got out of two thrift stores. I picked up a pair of Scarpa Gore-Tex hiking boots. These are unisex ones. They are a men's US 5 or a women's US 6. $8 for these ones. And they do have the Vibram soles, so you know these are good hiking boots. Have a little bit of wear at the bottom. However, these should sell anywhere upwards from 45 bucks plus. Some of the listings of these type of boots go up to about like $100. But not bad for 8 bucks. Then I also picked up this Garmin 1490T. The thing wrong with this is that it's not tested, but I paid five bucks for this and I saw a resale value of these for like 50 or around 40, 50 bucks. But I'm planning on keeping this for myself because I need I need a Garmin to tell me where to go and stuff. So I think this is the 490, but there's also another one in here as well that could be a different model. So I might sell this one separately if it is a completely different one, which I think it is. But yeah, not bad for five bucks. Just got out of another op shop, Savers. Their prices seem to be always increasing since I've been away. It seems like the average price for everything just keeps going up, but I'm not whinging. I've got to take advantage of it and just find the stuff that's profitable. I did pick up some, I picked up some ASICS Noosa Triathlon 8 shoes, women's shoes, for 15 bucks. They did have another pair there, but the other pair had a bit of wear at the bottom, so I wasn't willing to get them because they had, because they had a lot more wear than that. These ones are about a 50 to a 55 dollar pair of shoes. All right, so I'm gonna try this setup and just see how it goes. So the next couple of items, three items that I got are clothing items. So the first one is Calibre. They had this really cool Calibre uh, merino wool sort of cardigan thing. It's really hard to show you guys in the car. It might be a women's, I'm not sure though. But they had, like the prices in Savers is just ridiculous. I like to just go to the mom and pop op shops and stuff because you can find some real one-off really good bargains. $13 for this. I'll probably sell it for like 40 upwards. Then a pretty cool score was this cycling jersey. So they had two bucks on this one, which was a really good deal. And it's kind of like a breathable jersey. So I haven't really looked this one up, but I'm sure I'm going to make $20 on this one or more. Then the last item I picked up was this vintage windbreaker, Nike windbreaker. And it is reversible as well. So if you zip her open, and inside it is Nike tick as well. On the back it is Nike tick. And also the sleeve has like this mesh look to it, which was really cool. So I paid $16 for this one, and I'm gonna try like 50 bucks plus on Etsy and see how that goes. They did have some other stuff there as well. I was considering buying a lot more stuff, but I had to weigh up the options that it's not really worth it with the money that you invest because it does cost a little bit here at Savers, unfortunately. They had these two slim fit color brace suits, which were like 35 bucks each, but I made sure to have a quick look at them and check them over and they had some faults, so I had to put them back on the rack. They would have been like $150, $200 suits each, but they did have a stain on the sleeve and a hole in the crutch area, so I had to pass up on those. So I just got out of one last op shop for the day and I scored pretty well. I'm actually pretty pumped and happy about today's scores in this particular op shop picked up three items. Let's start with the lowest priced item and then let's make our way up to the most expensive item that's gonna make us the most profit. Okay, so the first item was just a Ratchet and Clank PlayStation 2, $5, and these sell for like $22 shipped. Costs $3 to ship, so that's $8 plus fees. 
about 10 bucks so that's like 12 dollars profit or thereabouts then i just picked up this calibre wool sort of hoodie top thing it's like a two top in one kind of style this one was seven dollars 25 and i'm gonna just list this for like 30 bucks and see how i go with that one but I want to get to the last item and show you guys if you could probably see like right there. <gasps> That's them. So here they are. A pair of RM Williams. Australian made boots. These are vintage ones. They do have a little bit of wear like in the discoloring around the side of the shoes and stuff. They should clean up pretty well. And they do have a little bit of a stretch here as well in the elastic. But I'm going to put these up for 200 Australian dollars. And they should sell anywhere around there. I paid a hefty $45.25 for these. But they should bring about $190 to $200. So when it's all said and done, that's about $100 to about $130 in profit. Somewhere around there. But these are an absolute jackpot. I love picking up these boots. I've sold probably... 20 coming on to 30 pairs of these boots in my whole resale time so uh, it's always good to find these they're not very common but when you do find them you know it's a good score and it's just started to rain right now so i'm gonna make my way back home i'm about an hour drive away from home so i'm gonna go home get these things listed and get them for sale so i can start making that money but yeah it's raining pretty bad at the moment So I made it back home, I'm working on taking the photos, I've already done the listings and again I saved them as drafts, I like doing it that way, I like to work out what the measurements are of the items and then save it as a draft on Etsy and on eBay and then just come along, take the photos, then put them into the listing and then put them up for sale and then I might get listing some of these items here as well, just working. I'm also listening to motivational sort of videos on YouTube, I just looked up motivational and looked under playlists on YouTube and there's like a heap of motivational videos that are just playing along here in the background. I just muted it, but... Really make anything happen. 